Automating tasks can be really intimidating because you're told to use Python or APIs or some fancy programming language to do these types of things. But if you aren't a developer, this can be extremely limiting. And that is where an app like Magical can come into play because they made a Chrome extension that takes care of all that scary developer stuff on the back end. Now with Magical, you can automate tasks like pulling information off websites and even push data into spreadsheets, as well as a number of other things. So in this video, we're gonna go over three automation features within Magical who are supporting my small channel by sponsoring this video. The first feature we'll go over is called automations and it's automating tasks. Next, we'll go over templates, which is automating very repetitive messages. And finally, AI reply, which is using AI to write for you. Let's start with automations, which is essentially making automations straight in your web browser. Think about tasks like copying data off of websites and pulling it into an Excel spreadsheet. A perfect use case of this is something I've been procrastinating on for a while, and that is gathering data on organizations that I wanna keep tabs on. Now these organizations are like nonprofit or business entities that organize networking events. But I would have to go through each LinkedIn page manually and copy their data and put it into a spreadsheet and that's why I've been procrastinating on it. But with Magical, I was able to automate this within minutes. So let me show you how to set it up. So the first thing you need to do is actually go to this website. I will link it up here and in the description below and sign up for a free account. And this will prompt you to download the Chrome extension and then that's all you need to get started. Once you have the Chrome extension installed, all you have to do is open up the tabs you wanna pull data off of. So what I did is I went on my LinkedIn page and I pulled all these different companies that I want to keep tabs on because they have networking events and other things that I wanna stay involved in in my specific industry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them all up on tab-wise and I'm gonna add information that I wanna copy and put into a spreadsheet. So for instance, I'm gonna go up here and click this magical icon right in your Chrome extension if you don't see it, click on extensions and make sure it's pinned to the top. You're gonna go ahead and click this and then this should pop up here and then click add site information. So this is all the information that's already here. Now it already has grabbed industry, company, followers, number of employees and URL. So this is perfect. The only thing else I would wanna grab is probably the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that and just put um, name and click this and click save and then refresh. So go ahead and press done and then refresh. And then it should populate here. So if you go ahead and go here and into here, you'll see name, industry, company, location, followers. Okay, this is all the stuff that I want to pull into my spreadsheet, right? So you can go ahead and click other things if you wanna grab other things on this page and pull it into the spreadsheet. But this, this is all the data that I need. Now you're gonna go ahead and click done, and then you're gonna click add to new spreadsheet. So you're in this automations tab and you're gonna click add to new spreadsheet. So go ahead and click that. When you click this, this pop-up will happen and it will say transfer all similar tabs, right? All tabs are just this tab. We wanna do all the tabs, right? That's the whole point. We wanna automate this. So go ahead and press, press all tabs. Now watch as it starts to populate your spreadsheet. So as you can see here, now bam, it just populated everything that you need. And now you have a nice list of all the things that you want to grab, right? So all, all your data that you pulled off those individual LinkedIn pages is now in a nice spreadsheet that you can filter and look through. But you can see how powerful this is because you are basically copying and pasting a bunch of information without having to do all that manual data entry work. Now there's also another cool feature within automations and that is form filling. So if you go to a form like this or your source data, so this is the data that you're pulling from and you wanna fill out a form with this data, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the website that is your source data. You're gonna click your magical icon and then you're going to make sure to add all the information. Now for this form, it grabbed everything, but if it didn't, again, you're gonna use the same steps that we used previously where you click it and then name it. Go ahead and press done. And then you're gonna to wanna to go to the actual form itself. So let's say this is the form you're filling out um, and you need to put in all that same information. You don't wanna copy and paste it. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do a double backslash and start filling out the information for each one of these fields. If it misses anything, you could do the double backslash. Um, sometimes it doesn't have all the information because you know, not, you don't, not everything is required for forms, right? So once you feel good about this, it will auto-generate an automation for you. So then you can go ahead and close out of this, go back to your source data, and this could be another source data, just the same kind of stuff. And then go ahead and click this, 
and then click try out magical automation. And it will automatically create this automation for you. And then it will just auto generate it into your form itself. So it's really nice. It saves you a ton of time and it doesn't have to be the same exact source data. It can be a different set of source data, but it will fill out the same form, right? So as long as you go to the new source data and click the automation, it will grab that data. So it's pretty nice because if you have a bunch of tabs open, you could just click that, that could be your source data, send it to the automation and it just copies your data. Again, this is just an example of how I've been using Magical, but think about very manual data entry things like filling out healthcare forms or tracking job applicants. These are all the types of things that you could actually automate using Magical. Now templates is another feature Magical has that actually saves you time when you send repetitive messages to other people. For example, let's say you own a business and you are constantly being asked what your rates are for the services you provide. Instead of writing an email with your rates over and over again to the people who are asking you for it, you can set up actually a template called rates and give it a little code name called dash rates. Then you can write that little code word in your email and it will auto populate your rates for you. So you only write them out once and then you just use that little keyword when you wanna send your rates to someone. What you wanna do is actually go to your workspace. So when you set up your account, you have a workspace. So go ahead and go to that and then make sure you are on the my templates tab on the left hand side here and then you can go and create any kind of template that you want now i just have two templates here i have a rejection and also rates so this is something i set up here so it says hi um, reaching out here's the company name and then um, here's your YouTube video rates that I want to set up. So I'm tired of copying and pasting these. So I just set it up once. My code word is dash rates. And then this will store. So when I use dash rates, this will pop up and it will try to fill in what the first name and the company name is based on um, what it sees. So kind of play around with that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, depending on if they even say their company name and the email. So sometimes it's nice not to have these or sometimes it is nice because it's customizable, right? So if it has the word company name, it will try to grab the company name and auto populate it. So this is a perfect example. So this company has reached out. They said they want to sponsor a video. What are my rates for my channel? So I'm gonna use my code word, right? So I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna click reply and I'm gonna use that code word, right? This dash rates. So I'm gonna go ahead and type that in and then it says to fill in the information. Sometimes you can use a double backslash to have a drop down to see if you have other tabs open. Sometimes they can grab the information straight from the email, but um, I'm just gonna fill it in and then click tab to go to the next company and then super, super race and then insert and then you have a perfectly filled out email and it saves you a little bit of time. Now, every if you get 10 of these a day, it's gonna save you a significant amount of time. So I've been really liking this feature because I just type it in and then bam, and it, it helps reduce that friction when I go to respond to a sponsorship, like query or something. So it's a little bit easier to respond. It takes a little bit of that, like, oh, I don't know what to say, and oh, let me go look and see what I charged the last person, and it takes away a lot of that. So this has been really helpful. You can also make templates without placeholders. So like I mentioned before, sometimes you don't want to fill out information, especially if you don't think it's gonna grab it or you're not on the tab that can grab the information. So it's really nice for like addresses, phones, emails, that kind of stuff, where you don't have a placeholder, it just auto-populates the address. So for this example, you would just do your address, you could do billing address if you're doing a lots of invoicing and then you don't have to go and copy the address over and over again. You can just give yourself a little code word, dash address, and same thing. It'll just fill it out for you. You just don't have to enter anything in like the little form situation. And our last feature is actually AI reply. Now this is very cool because you have some options here at the bottom. You can kind of see them. I don't know if you saw them in the last previous section, but you can see there is yes, no custom. So you can click yes just immediately and it will start writing. And it says, thank you for reaching out. I'm interested in discussing, I will contact blah. So it's, it's kind of nice because it gets rid of that whole like, oh, I don't know what to say, but I want to accept. Um, and then let's try the no. So if you click no, it will auto generate a no response. I must decline at this time, you know. Sometimes it's just nice to have a little bit of words and you can kind of manipulate it. Like, I don't think I would say decline, 
but it's nice to have that out there and then I can just adjust from here and then I'm not like stuck with like, oh, I don't know what to say. Um, the other thing you can do is do a custom one. So you could say, um, tell, tell them no, but say you are open to future opportunities. So if you do that, go ahead and press enter, it'll, it'll create another message, right? So hello, thank you for reaching out. I'm not able to accommodate. Well, I appreciate offer and be open to exploring potential opportunities in the future. Perfect. Literally, I would send that email right now. Like it sounds so perfect. So it's like, this is the kind of stuff that just saves seconds and you think, oh, that's not really a lot of time. But if you're constantly getting pinged and you feel like you're not responding, like a lot of sponsorship events, I don't respond to because I get so many requests daily that I don't get to them all. But with Magical, it takes away, again, that friction. So then I can just click and then it's immediate and it's like, I don't have to stress about it. And I'm not like, oh, I never responded to them because it felt like such a lift to like get it off the ground. But this makes it a lot easier. I hope this gave you an idea on how to use Magical and some kind of use cases, at least in my life. So if you want to check out Get Magical for free, you could just go to getmagical.com slash Liz Rao, and that will get you there. And then you can go ahead and sign up, get the Chrome extension, all that stuff. But I do know sometimes you don't even know where to start when it comes to automating things. So that's why I recommend the book, Automate Your Busy Work. It talks a lot about like recording your day-to-day -day work and then figuring out what can be automated and what cannot. And it's really nice because it'll go through, oh, this is a good option to automate. This isn't, this is what you should be looking for. It's a really good book to start with if you're kind of dabbling in automation, but you're not sure where to start. I will link my full video on that book here so you can watch it as a video if you're curious about the book and you don't really wanna spend like the $30 to buy the book. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.